Get ready for an epic high sea adventure with the yeah. highly anticipated Wait, sequel to the indie sensation. Oh. <laughs> can you? Nope. Damn. Next. Don't dodge. Team World Heist. Take charge as Captain Lee yeah, Wei and oh. lead a ragtag. Wait, one at a time. Oh, Liam. Next is Liam. Oh. And lead a ragtag crew of steamboat steambots through an. An intense turn-based gunfight where bullets ricochet with deadly precision. A turn-based tactical strategy. Oh. Nope. <laughs> You'll explore the great sea, find crew, upgrade abilities, go on heists, and find clues. In my cancer. <laughs> You're no longer present in the room. You withdraw back into shadow, and in this darkened space, you can see just the faintest flicker of blue flame and darkness around you. And you just float there in this cold space. Then out of nowhere, she reaches for you, and you see Delilah, her hands around your throat, and she's just strangling you, strangling you. Pushing and holding towards you, her eyes locked on you. Her fingers begin to pull upward, like her arms divide. There's now hands on your throat, but a second form of hands rip off of the first set and begin to try and claw for your mouth. What can we like see? What can pull. we see? You just see Laudna, like her back arching on this table, and Essek trying to hold his hand there as he can keeps his eyes closed and begins muttering a secondary incantation. Oh. How do you want to contribute? Can, to can this? I put my hands on either side of Laudna's head and I'm going to try to force my thoughts down into her? Mind as well. Yes, you may. And I'm gonna see Delilah. Try to talk to her. You do, Delilah. Yeah. As you push down into the space, you see kind of the the low flickers of blue flame and shadow around. And from your perspective, you get a, a glance at the horizon. And you've been here once before. You see the shadowed outline of the ch the building cityscape of a once dead white stone. Just barely cast in grays and blacks around you. You see up mm. above in the expanse the extending growth of leafless tree branches as the blackened sun tree that you once burned together now grows once more in the darkness, now splintered in four different places, pushing past the burns that kept it at bay. And you see there the two fractured spirits of Laudna and Delilah Briarwood entangled and fighting. Until she has a network of every person that fell in that city, pulling her from behind. There is a burning hatred in her eyes. A purple flame that grows brighter and more intense. You feel as if you had flesh in this moment, it would be burned away with just the piercing volume of hate behind them. As she opens her mouth to speak, and every single one of those threads pulls her away. As she gets pulled silently into the shadow behind, Essek presses his hands down onto Laudna's chest, finishes the incantation, <laughs> Her entire body from the inside begins to glow, a vibrant purple glow, to the point where the rib cage itself is the only darkened spot. The rest of her flesh is now a light, like a lantern from the inside. Where her back is arched, her eyes and mouth fire out that same purple light, and that blackened shadow gets cast off like a torch to the darkness. As you pull your hands back, the light diminishes. Laudna's body relaxes and Essek is pulled back and is kind of just floating in the air, looking down, his eyes scattered around, looking for any sign of success. Did it work? <laughs> That's a bit fair. Laudna? Matilda? She's there. Who's that? Who? Delilah. Delilah. 
She's there, but she's... She's yours. Ooh! Oh! the bitch! <laughs> Got her! Yeah. Got her! You look inward for a second, <laughs> and what you see is that burning hatred and that screaming, shadowed face, quiet as it blasts against and rails against this ancient Aeorian crystal. The, the name Betrayer God, I think, is a misnomer. I think they're all, the primes are just as misguided. And I learned that the hard way, and I shifted my alliances. Oh, yeah. you got like the juicy inside deets? I mean, I, I fell on hard times. I was, I was a devotee of the Platinum Dragon, and I was a, um, I served uh, his church and uh, worked at a temple. I was, I was promoted up the ranks quite high, highly, actually. I was in charge of uh, security and uh, protection of, of a temple. Um, in a place called Zadash. Um, and one day, the temple was attacked by two deceitful people. Uh, <gasps> you fucking dick. Uh, yes, uh, a horrible goblin and uh, a, ni a nightmarish uh, tiefling. And, uh, I, I, I let them in. I, I, they, they deceived me to gain entry, and I failed in my, in my duties to protect the temple. How did you fail? What happened? Did they, they destroy destroyed the temple? They destroyed it. They destroyed That's it. All, and so it's gone. Such digs. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, it, it, it's not gone. I mean, they set fire to it. They. Desecrated it. It was hor How horrible. How did they do to desecrate? Desecrated. I. They painted. I was actually sort of confused when I got here to this home because I saw there's dicks on the wall. There's literally a dick over his they shoulder carved into the wall. On the wall. Yeah. Painted dicks. Yes. Maybe it's. A, I, I. I guess it's a. It's a popular thing if it's here too. But. Um. They painted dicks on the wall and. I was blamed for the no. attack. Yeah, well, I what? failed to protect it. So. That's terrible. Were they caught, apprehended? I uh, know they're at large, and I will find them. That, I hope I you do. Wow. And that was the Rude. experience that bent you towards the Lord of the Hells? No, no, I mean, that <laughs> sort of started a downfall of sorts. I, I was expelled from the church, ex excommunicated, I guess you could Say and because they thought you were drawing the dicks. No, no, because I failed. I okay. failed. I maybe failed the way. the tiefling and the goblin that you spoke with. Maybe they worked for the Lord of Hells. Mm. Maybe their whole purpose was to get you away from the Blind no. Dragon. Oh, oh, like he sent them as a test. Oh, as like a the, test. Like or the or devil works in mysterious ways, yeah. sort of. Whoa. Oh, interesting. They they acted with such reckless abandon. It doesn't seem like my lord has very clear motives and, oh, okay. and drives, and they were animals, really. Well, they must the have been, worst people in, on, the, on the planet. They must have been incredibly powerful and stout. I mean, you're stacked, and you've got armor, and you're, you're too bald flail, like that's, they must have just been absolute warlords. Yeah. Yes, they were. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sorry flail you went through balls that. were not enough. I was removed from my post, de disgraced, I lost, my family lost a lot as well. We were... so where's your family now? Mm. Are you are you still? I don't, I don't know, because they, they sort of blamed me as well. Oh. I don't. That's we don't speak anymore. So your family is still very heavily into the Platinum Dragon. I don't believe so. They were, they were also disgraced and were, sort of, <laughs> removed. That's awful. So, yes. as Modius is like a rebound, a rebound? No, no, no. He is the one true god. A rebound of multiple. For you. Of all. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're saying 
You don't want the gods to decide our fates, to control our fates, but Ludinus is taking up that very same mantle and deciding for everyone on Exandria. Well? All across the flat circle of it. <laughs> <laughs> that long story, you don't even want to do. Smart. One through nine. I was nine. just gonna say spin, out, spin the bottle. Yeah, it'd spin the bottle, but mm. with a D10. I don't mind we don't have a bottle. The bottle. That would be fun. <laughs> I'm thirsty. My man is in a drought. <laughs> Feed that plant. Uh, there was some pent up horniness going on, wasn't there? Seven minutes in the hell. Six, 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 I mean, it's Talos. I know, this is Talos. All right, Wait, all right. Excuse me. Ashes. Does that mean we're all a number? One, two, uh, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero is a reroll. Okay. Okay. Roll it on the front. Wait, who, what number was that? Yep, I'll let you know. Uh, that's a five, so one, two, oh, three, it is four. Oh, it is Briss! All right, my backstory is not that thought out, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I know you're the best. Smoke the glasses. I'm also, also going to say uh, the new demon shell armor cloak that we found okay. down in Aeor. Uh, in do we get rooms? Individual rooms in Essex House? Oh no, not individual rooms. It's not that big. I, I can just take. I can just no, take a couch no. anywhere. Actually, yeah. Um, and I'll I will attune to uh, the new demon shell. Mm. Two guest bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need a fine. private room with Lana for a little bit. Oh, that's fair. Fair. I, can, I can stay in the stables. Fair. Fair. No We're having makeup sex. Yep. I get it. Makeup sex. <laughs> um, as you attune to the cloak. Can we RP that? that? Chetney. <laughs> Look, he's doing it again. I know. The thing where, no. Now this feels legit, though. As you attune to the cloak, oh. you wear it over your shoulders, <laughs> and it kind of settles against your the shoulders like a mantle and kind of falls down the back. My muscular shoulders. Right. Yeah, you're rippling. Wow. <laughs> uh, as you feel the, the magical enchantment itself kind of tether itself to your your being. Oh, that's nice. Uh, the cloak kind of shifts and kind of draws tighter, almost uncomfortably so for a moment. And what was once a cloak begins to wrap around your arm and around your torso, snaking around you almost like a like a python that's grabbing and twisting and squeezing, not to the point where it hurts, but just enough where it's uncomfortable and worrying. Your fight or flight begin to kick in, and as you kind of look around with a, a panicky reaction, you hear all the scales kind of shh as they slither around your body. Eventually, it comes to stop, and you look down. And the kind of burgundy scale texture is now entirely wrapped around your body from like high neck to wrist. Like a an odd reddish rust colored bodysuit made up of scaled armor. <laughs> How will you be naked all the time? <laughs> oh, oh, what is the werewolf process I like? Know. I like, know. <laughs> does it but does it Never expand? Seen a reptilian werewolf. <laughs> does it expand when you when you turn into a wolf? You're gonna be like Omar in a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're pushing through the crowd and like some soldiers are to look at each other. People are starting to have that concerned look of like who are these people sorry. pushing through. Uh, for an, a heavy hand <laughs> grabs your shoulder. Whoa. Um, I see heavy, like I put stone my hand on, fingers on the weapon, just okay. in case. Something is It's like, excuse me, just who do you think you are? <laughs> and you kind of glance around and see this this tall, like incredibly muscular, older-looking uh, half giant. Um, tattoos on his body, uh, massive black, gray-streaked beard. Oh my! Um, oh, just holding you there and says, "Were you invited?" We work directly for the voice of the Tempest out of Zephra. Um, hold on. You say you know the voice? <gasps> no. Do we have a problem no. here, friend? <laughs> Is this do we? I don't know. Do we? I've been looking for a fight over. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, hi. We're supposed to be here. How are you? Um. I'm okay. 
My name is um, uh, Professor Emperor. Um, Professor Emperor. <laughs> Fern Kelly. <Calvary. laughs> it's like a and, villain. Yeah, <laughs> Professor Emperor. <laughs> We're here to see the the voice of the tempest. <laughs> um, see the problem is. I happen to be very close friends with the voice of Tempest, and I don't know who you are. And I was told to throw out anybody who we don't know. We have well, an appointment. Well, we 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 met her at Westside. He's like pushing Fern wait, out wait, of the crowd. Wait, wait, wait! This was a he... personal bodyguard of hers. Uh, a voice goes, "Wait." He says, "What? Well, do you know them, Pikey?" <laughs> and it's we're going And uh, for those of you that were in the Brief visit of Whitestone, you see uh, Pike Trickfoot in full Everlight. Oh, there's oh. someone that yeah. we know her. Hey. We know her. Grog, I know them. It's okay. <laughs> it's like, well, I didn't know that. Just tell me if we're having guests next time. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Good day. He's got a little gut. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Muscle. Yeah. 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 Muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Belly. Oh. Where's it well? You like, yeah. like Fat Thor? Are you like? No. I know. No. Well, he's just got like just a little beer belly. Yeah, you see, like 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 the yeah. point where the, the the belt of of dwarven, uh, you know, fortitude around his belt. Like there's there's a little like overlap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's solid under there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a weight belt that like was bought. You know, thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. It's, you can still get it. Oh, yeah. 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 Just a little bit peeking out the top and bottom. That's just power. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the power is. Like, tom tom. Well, if you're friends of Pikey, you're friends of mine. And uh, Pike goes like, uh, Kayla said that she was um, expecting you. They're in a bit of a discussion right now. Grog, could you? And he goes, right away, move it! And like pushes people aside. The voice kind of looms out a little bit in the, the chatter. <laughs> in the room, as it echoes through, kind of stops for a second, and as you kind of see through the crowd, there is a uh, like lowered in the middle of this massive forum chamber. Uh, forum chamber. There are a number of chairs and places, and you can see there are what what was a forum meant to maybe facilitate uh, a few dozen people conversing is deeply overcrowded now. There are multiple soldiers and associates and representatives um, and people from. All over, you see, um, there is a, an elven figure in long silver and blue robes that seems to be sitting on the kind of the highest of the thrones here, probably a representative uh, of the uh, the sanctuary itself. You see, um, in kind of long red, uh, like sleeveless robe that kind of dangles past uh, their chair, the uh, incredibly intimidating. Uh, Earthbreaker groom that you had met yes. previously, oh. um, cool. kind of sitting arms on the side of his particular chair. But it was just the same. You see um, what looks to be this this incredibly uh, dressed like half elven woman with a, a massive cluster of white and golden hair that kind of falls past her shoulders below in abundant leaf covered robes, um, who looks to be sitting upon a particular throne that. Iconography wise, resembles the Wild Mother. Um, you can see there are numerous seats here that are placed to represent various Pantheon temple heads. And they are all filled currently. Um, and then throughout them are numerous other seats. You, you see, uh, um, for, the, for the, the matron's representation here, not a single seat, but three. You see three women in dark black veils that cover their faces in robes that all kind of sit as a trio. Um, you see, sitting at a number of the other chairs, a very tall, uh, kind of gender-fluid-looking figure um, with darker skin, long black hair, and simple attire with eyes that burn like coals. Oh, shit. You see a figure dressed in white and silver intricate robes with uh, shoulder armor that curl upward at the Ooh, edge. Yeah. You see her with a crown that has three curved ibex-like horns that curve back behind, oh, yeah. no and a darker a lavender skin of uh, what looks to be a dark elf figure and a number of 
uh, guards at her sides that wear a uh, chitinous, like insectoid, dark metal armor that looks uh, terrifying as it does unique. Um, you see Allura and Kima, who you have met previously, sitting amongst the crowd that make eye contact with you, and you can see an elation come over their face. Um, and a number of other figures that you don't recognize. You do recognize those two. You see a dwarven woman in royal attire, or at least you recognize them. Those of you who are in the Wildmount split crew um, recognize Queen Furnast and King Talviel yes. of Uthodurn are also present at this council. This is a gathering of Exandria wow. present. Day. Everyone is here. And as Grog has pushed past the crowd and kind of gave an opening in that one moment, all of Exandria looks to you. And that's where we're going to end.